Hey there, good day everyone. My name is Layana. I'm looking forward to working out with you today. I want to do a nice long warm up, a little aerobic activity, as well as focus on some of our muscle groups. So hopefully you've got that sturdy chair. I'd like to use a ball also today for our exercises. So if you have one, that's great. If not, that's great too. We'll figure it out. Do what you can. Before we get started, two important things. Please remember, sorry, please remember that it's important to have your doctor's consent before you begin your exercise program. Number two, please remember that when I teach, I'm teaching mirror style. So my left is really your right. And my right is really your left. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Be sure you sit forward a little bit off your chair. I want us to concentrate on strengthening our core muscles as well. So, in other words, sitting up as long as we can, sitting up tall. I already got the music going, I got my water close by. I'm going to start tapping, tapping and swinging my legs. First, I'm using no arms, as you can see, and now I'm adding my arms. Now I'm just using my arms. Those of you in a wheelchair, come on and join me. Lock up those wheels. I'm doing both. And everybody just do what you can according to your ability. March in place. March a little wider. Remember, I'm sitting up tall. Back to center. And wider again. I'm going to bring one foot to the other, right left. Working the inner thigh. Try to spread those legs apart a little bit more. And we're not rocking from the waist up, upright. Two on each side. Still. Yes, the music is going to stop, but something else will come on. Back to one at a time. Add a hook. in place. There. I'm back on the right side first. Legs out to the side, right, left. Some people do. This is a good arm thing too. Or no arms. Jab and tap. In the front, same arm, same leg. Both arms press. Back to one at a time. Press. to the side, same arm, same leg. How about both arms? Tighten your abs. Back to one at a time. Both.
jab and tap front. Widen to the side, arms up. Both arms, shoulder press. Both arms front, press. Should be feeling a little warmer. Both arms up, side. Press, front. Good. Let's go back to our tap and swing, which is opposite arm and leg. Heels down. Tapping in. Come on, swing those arms a little higher. Heels down again. Course line if you can. Leg up. Off the ground. Do what you can. Back to that heels down in front. Course line to keep the heel down. March. Good. And wider. Still sitting up tall. Back to center. And wide again. Bring the left foot to the right. Go ahead and add the arm. Relax your arms. Two on each side. I'm on the left first. Come on, spread those legs apart. Try to touch. The opposite foot. Just aim for it. Back to one at a time. Add the arms. I'm shortening my range with my legs. If you want to, without the arms, have your heel touch the opposite leg. Two on each side. Back to one at a time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. A little wider. Eight, seven, six. Good. We can all count. I know. Both arms in front, crisscross. Now we're gonna keep going a little bit here. A little higher with your arms. Footwork does not change. Cross in front. Working our chest muscle. And now we're working our shoulders again to reach up. down. Stay here. Eight more. Six. March in place. And wider. Center. Want you to hang on to the back of the chair. Knee lift a little slower. We're not tipping back here. Good. Chorus line. Oh, my 
knees are popping. Come on, let me see the bottom of your shoe. Still. Knees up. March. March a little faster. Slow down. Come on, you can move those feet around a little bit if you want. And give me all you got again. again all you got tap and swing good same arm same leg tap and swing it's an opposite arm and leg I'm a little wider. Yes, a little wider. Stay here. We're going to change to a double tap each side. In eight. You can stay here. What I want to see is try to kick that toe back. So we're working the back of the leg here. Now get your leg up if you can. Otherwise keep those toes down. Eight, six, four, three, two, one, tap down again. Heels down in the front, front side, I should say. Toes down in the back. Heels down in the front. March. Good. Okay, we're going to start slowing down here a little bit. Shorten your range. Smaller steps for the march. Tap and swing. Shorter range. Just a little more. We're going to slow down so we can start stretching out all of our muscles, most of the major muscles anyway. Now just swing the arms. I'm still tapping my heels. I can't help it. March. Nice and easy. Relax your legs again and just swing. I'm going to tap on my heels. I 
All right, let's get under your left elbow. Hold. Still sitting up tall, same arm across the chest. Lengthen your arm, wiggle your fingers. Rotation for the wrist, inward. Other direction. Wiggle the fingers, We're still holding here. If it's comfortable, chin over the left shoulder, look away from the, the left hand. And release and relax. Get under the right elbow down. I'm still tapping my toes. I'm still sitting up tall. Same arm across. Squeeze and open the head. This is all part of the workout. The flexibility training is just as important. Rotation inward, please. And rotation outward. Good. Arms wide open. Poke your chest out. Oh, I know. I just realized I forgot something. That's okay. Let's do it again. Left arm across, right arm across your chest. And look away. I knew there was something. Chin over your right shoulder. If you can, wiggle those fingers still. So let's stretch outwards again. On the horizon, poke your chest out. Give yourself a hug. Right elbow up, right arm over the left. Relax your head and neck. That first wide open didn't count. This one, that other one did. The one we just did, did, and this one does. Hug with the left arm on top. Hands on the opposite shoulders. And release. Hands on your right leg or and chair and or chair. For that spinal twist, rotation right, please. And hold. Rotation now towards the left. Use your arms where it's comfortable to help pull yourself around. And release. Let's put our left leg, right leg in front, heel down. Sitting up tall first. And we're going to tip forward. Hold. Pull those toes up towards your forehead. And release. Lengthen your left leg. Pull your toes in. Go ahead and tip forward. And hold. And release. Sit back up tall. Let's stay facing forward. Use your left leg for support. 
lengthen your right leg to the side. And I'm gonna take forward, push that right leg as far back as you can, trying to stretch our inner thigh. But you might need more, and I understand. So I'm gonna cut the angle in half, rotating towards the right. Stay here. And release. Same stretch on the other side. Bring your right leg in, use for support. Left leg out to the side. Ooh. Trying to get a stretch on the inner thigh. I'm rotating towards the left. So I can feel more of a stretch right there. Flexibility training is all part of it. Ankle to the knee, right ankle over the left knee. Hold. Pressure downward, stretching out the outer hip. undo. Still sitting up tall. Heels up and hold. Apply some pressure down on your knees. And release. And again. Move those heels down, pull those toes up towards your knees. Release and do it again. Lengthen your left, right leg and a rotation outward for your ankle. Good. Change directions. Inward. Lengthen your left leg. Rotation outward. Rotation inward. Good. Put the leg down. Spread your knees apart a little more. Go ahead and lean forward between your legs. Try to push with your forearms, your knees apart. Still for the inner thigh. So our heart rate should have dropped back to normal so we can work on our, our strength training a little bit. I'm grabbing that ball if you have it in between your legs. Upper body's getting a break. Double time. Don't drop it. Slow down. Squeeze. 
Double time. Slow down, squeeze and hold. When you release now, don't drop the ball. Squeeze and hold again. Release. Squeeze. Don't drop it. Release. Once more. Most likely the inner thigh have always contracted. Right? Release. Now, take your time. Lift. Right leg off the floor. Left leg off the floor. And if you want to just do toes down, heels up. That's fine, but we're engaging our quadriceps. I'm going to get my leg up a little more. And I'm going to try to squeeze at the top. We're still here. Same thing. Now I want you to do like we did in the warm-up. Heels down in the front, don't drop it. Lengthen the leg, heels down. Now you can stay here, or leg up off the ground. Still. Knee up again, squeeze at the top. Okay? Remember, you can keep your toes down, heels up. Change it a little bit. Right leg is up, push against the left. Left leg is strong. Seven more. Release. Other side. Seven more. Lengthen your leg, squeeze against the right. Seven more. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling the fatigue. Other side. Seven. Second set. Release with a knee up. It's okay to hang on to your chair. We're still sitting up tall. Change sides. Again now with the length and leg. Press against the left leg. I said the length and leg, not the left. Now press against the, the left leg. Other side, once more. Seven. And release. Good. Pick that ball up. Want to do similar exercises. We'll be working our chest muscles. Put the ball between your arms, not on your elbows. Whoops. <laughs> between your arms, like your forearms. And squeeze together. Just like we did with our legs. Speed it up. Release 
slow down. Still, now relax your shoulders. We're not working our shoulders. Double time. Release and go slower. One more time, double time. Seven. We're not gonna release the ball yet. We're not gonna drop it. Relax, squeeze and hold. Keep your hands apart, we're not clad, we're not doing that, okay? Release, squeeze again. Release, are you still squeezed? Are you still sitting up tall? I am. Release, and again. Release, now squeeze the bottom. And the top. Minimal movement first. Squeeze at the bottom and the top. Bottom, top had to get back on beat. If you can, right in front of your face, stay up top double time. So you can't see my face, hopefully. Release. Again. Release. Again. Release. Once more. Now the shoulders are involved. Yes, they are. Release. Squeeze at the bottom. Top. Shoulders are working now. Double time at the bottom. Release. Again. Release. Again. Release. Once more. Gonna do the same thing at the top. Release, up top. And release. Continue sitting up tall. If it's bothering your back, release. Then don't bring the ball up quite as high. One more time. Release. Good job. Spread those legs apart a little bit. We're actually going to be working on our hands, the strength in our hands. So hopefully your ball is not, this is not a roll, okay? I want you to grab with each hand and squeeze underneath again. Squeeze. And again. And again. Stay wide. Change arms. stay low or cut a little higher if it's comfortable for you. Remember, if we're practicing, yes, you're using your shoulders. We're practicing our strength in our hands. Back across. And 
underneath, grab, hold, squeeze. Underneath, oops, grab, squeeze. Yeah, forearms, yeah, release. Yeah, I did the other one a little longer. And release. Once more underneath. Now, this is what I want you to do. This is working the abdominals, the obliques, our side muscles. Now, if you don't have a ball, or it's a little too confusing, look. Remember, your head is just stacked on top of your spine. There's no rotation or movement in the neck. Let's do eight more. Change sides. Remember, if you don't want to use it, there's no movement here in your neck. We're not tipping over. We're not rotating. Your neck is just stacked on top of your shoulders for the right. I'm going to do this side. Let me see. Because my thing is right there. So, my microphone thing. Yep, see, it messed it up. That's like I thought. So, I'm not going to use the ball because it messes with my sound. Four more. Two. change sides again. Just the obliques. Now notice I'm not trying to touch now. Keep my bottom, both sides, even in the chair. We're tipping over like we're a teapot. Four more. One more. Same thing on the other side. Remember, I'm not going to use the ball this time because my mic thing is on my hip. That's okay. It's good to demonstrate both ways. Four more. One more. Relax. Grab that ball. What I want you to do is sit forward a little bit or fold forward where you're holding the ball. This time your legs can be a little close together. What we're trying to do is press down. So relax your arms and shoulders. Crunch. Don't lose the ball, which means abdominals are always contracted to hang on here. Eight more. Oh, I feel mine about to get run away. Four. Two, one, ball behind you. So lean back. 
some of you might be able to touch the chair. I'm not going to. Four more. I'm off beat, don't worry. Three. Two. And one. One more set each way. Press. Crunch. So don't look up at me, this overextension of the neck. Relax your neck, press down, core towards your lap. Eight more. Five, four, well that was a, that was a quick song. Three, two, one, woo. Last time behind you. And back. Slow and control. So this is just like if we were doing a sit up on the floor. If you want to put your hands up. Or how about across your chest. Woo. Come on, let's do some more of these. We're finishing out here. Draw back and hold. Hold. Three, two, release. Again, drop back. I'm not touching the chair. Three, two, Release again. Three, two, release again. And release back to your regular. Oh, yeah, slow and control. We're not doing this fast. people. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Lay back and hold. To release again. Three, two, release again. Three, two, release again. Three, two, release back to our regular one. We're finishing now. I know I said that before, but we really are. We really are. Four more. Three. Good. Two. And one. Release. Good job. Good job.
Good time for some water. Good job. Full body workout. That's on aerobics, some strength training, even some core in there. Like I said, good time for water. So I appreciate you guys working out with me. As I always said, I definitely felt that. I hope you did too. Ball is not required, obviously. Do what you can with the ball or do what you can without. Um, but if you do want a ball, Walmart carries sometimes Dollar Tree. They're very inexpensive or you can order them off the internet. Anyway, remember, get that water. Drink it if you haven't already. Drink your water throughout the whole day. Because we have to keep moving. As I always say, it's so important that we keep moving and do the best to your ability. Until then, in the meantime, remember, we can do this.